hello and good day to you today's video we'll be making a crocheted ruler lace gathered skirt for an adult a female to make a skirt we'll need a sewing machine you can use a tape spray needle if you want but i'll be using a sewing machine to do it up we'll need measuring tape we need measuring tape to measure the to take the measurement of the wearer we need yarn i'm using um so crafty yarn aldi so crafty yarn but i'll be using the seashore We'll be using Aldi so crafty yarn, uh, ombre yarn, cake yarn. I'll be using uh, for that. I'll be using the seashore color. Three of that. We need three of it. This is um. They are the same. This is called natural. So I'll just show you how. This is called natural. And this is uh, how the colors the So because you're using sewing machine, we'll be needing sewing thread. Um, yes. Not even because you're using sewing machine, you can use the uh, tape string needle to sew too. So we will need sewing thread. We need sewing thread and we need, um, if you want to use buttons, if you want to use any fastening you want to, that's fine. I'll be using zip and sewing thread. And we also need sewing thread. So I'll need a zip or zipper, depend on how you prefer to call it. We need sewing, you, we need sewing pins. This is to pin the sides before we sew them so that um, our seam, the edges don't move so that we can seam them up properly. Start them moving. If you want to, you can use um, hand sewing needles or tape three needles. I've said that earlier. So uh, if you don't want to use sewing machine, so you can. Okay, it comes out from here. So you can use um, hand sewing needles. And you need the sewing thread as if you want to fasten the zipper without using uh, without using sewing machine okay we need a crochet hook our crochet hook is in size 4 of the crochet hook and we need a ruler this time around I'm not using a metal ruler <laughs> I saw something else that I can use and it's a blind the end part of a blind so I just trimmed this so uh, I just trimmed it. You can see the rope and you can see this knob here. The end part of a blind, my blind got spot, so I was wondering what I can use this hard thing, but it's okay. Since I've not seen my plastic ruler, this makes it this can do the job. And we also need our swatch. We also need our swatch. So to continue, we need our swatch. And for the swatch, so this is um, our swatch for the ruler lace, crochet ruler lace skirt. You can alter it the way you want to. If you want to make um, two rows of double crochet before you do the ruler lace and the, like the shell, the the shell loop here yeah. that's fine you just need to tie it to suit yourself to suit the, and the design that you are making so i'm using a plain yarn to make to demonstrate i'll just put a previous demonstration in of um, creating a ruler lace then you can decide on how you want to Alter the pattern to create your own design. Roller lace is made up of multiples of five, five 
stitches plus one. The one is the turning chain. Roller lace effect is a loopy lace effect created by making loops over a ruler and then securing the loops with double crochet or single crochet stitches made into the loops. So these are the loops made into made on the ruler and these are the double crochet we're using securing those loops to make the design. Why the so ruler lace is made up of five stitches multiples of sorry multiples of five stitches plus one is because one is a turning chain but if you see it here you see that we have for this four uh, lace effect we have five loops here five 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 that's 20. so we are going to create the effect we have five loops here five 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 that's 20. then one is a turning chain I'll have to do a little demonstration so that we can progress we can from that we can now um, move on to our gamut so taking the yarn so taking our yarn I'm using a double knit yarn no I'm using Aran yarn so crafty and my crochet hook is 4.5 you can use any size of crochet hook you want and any width of ruler. You notice that we used um, a larger, a longer ruler when we were doing the, when we were presenting what we're going to use for our knitwear. But because of this, just to make a little swatch, we're going to use a smaller ruler which has the same width with our normal ruler, but different length. So we need to cast on, because ruler lace is made up of five, multiples of five stitches plus one, we're going to cast on 21 stitches. So 21 chain, we'll make 21 chain. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we have 21 chain now. And from the second chain, we'll into the second chain from the hook. So we'll do a double crochet into the second chain from the hook and a double crochet into every single chain. The chain space is across. So a double crochet into each chain space across. To pull more yarn. Remember, you can use any yarn you have for the project.
I want to count. So we have 20 double crochet here. It's time now to, the next step is for us to use our ruler. So here's our ruler and we'll start the next step. So turning the work, you don't need to do a, ch a turning chain now because you are just going to put loops. Just going to make the loop larger. I'll done this one so that I don't come in, don't uh, interfere with the work. So we've put the first loop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me do it properly again. Okay. First loop. Then into the next double crochet space, I'm going to pull a yarn and wait on the loop. Oh, sorry, on the ruler. It's a loop. So you can see both back and front we have the loop is being worn on the ruler. So we continue the third one and so on. Remember, metal rulers are sharp, so uh, my, it, they may cut you. I do use wooden ruler or plastic ruler. But I don't know where I kept mine. Um, after I used it to measure a neat swatch, I don't know where I kept it. Might be with in my, one of those my knitting machines. So, um, I don't know where I kept mine. plastic one so I have to use this to demonstrate I'm trying to be careful so that I don't hurt myself <laughs> Wait a So we finished with the loop. The next step, we're going to turn our work. You don't need to make uh, you don't need to make so put in our when you put the crochet hook into five loops. And then with the yarn, wind the yarn around the hook of the, the crochet hook and pull. Then I'll just make a chain so that I secure my crochet hook. Still, loop still in the, in the ruler. We're going to start and make five double crochet into you cannot bring it out and do the remaining double crochet. 
So I'm going to So five double crochet. Yarn around the hook. Put it under the, uh, the front of the first five loops. Wind the yarn around the hook again and pull. Then you make the double crochet. You can bring it out, but be careful of the loops in, the other loops, because they might pull out. So some people prefer working the five loops first before they bring it out. Just going to... Two... five so we have that and we'll continue about doing it in the ruler is that it gives you the direction to go so that your work is not twisted because if you don't follow the same direction your work will be twisted So here we have our work. That is the ruler lace. What I love doing, what I love doing again is making another double crochet, sorry, double crochet stitch on top. It helps to create an edge in case there's a a little unraveling my loops are still secured so with that we turn our work just going to put, pull a lot of yarn out we turn our work one ch turning chain and then one DC into each double crochet across or shell across now it's supposed to be it. so one dc into each double crochet shell across so this one and you can have it vertically or horizontally but for our knitwear our design is going to be vertically
and if you think you're missing your stitches one tip i do is just check and make sure okay five this other one five this other one five and the last one we have five so here's our ruler lace Let's go now to our knitwear where we have to start knitting. In total length, the size of our skirt is 30 inches. That means we have 22 inches for the skirt with, for the length without the band and 8 inches for the band. And the width is 27.2 inches without the band and for the band on is just 28 inches to make our skirt we need to make our skirt for the bodies of the skirt the body of the skirt we need 103 stitches we need to cast on 103 stitches then we need make we need to knit it in 22 rows or until the desired length is achieved then for the band we need 75 stitches you have to pick 75 stitches after you finish and then you need you need, need to crochet 8 rows of it To overlay the to overlay the the gather skirt, we are using a tie and dye fabric in silk. You can use any one in cotton. You can use any fabric, any lining fabric you want. I'm using tie and dye. I'm using tie and dye fabric in silk, and it goes well with it. So let me place it so that you see. To be as if it's a part of it, it's not a kind of different. So you see, it's okay. We'll make it into a skirt and we just slip this curtain if you want to attach both yeah, together it's optional it's up to you so we have to make a so here i've already made the skirt this is the front any one any side can be the front and any side can be the back because they are both the same so um i'm just going to okay we have some ridge here which you can decide uh, the inner or the outer do you want all this ridge outside or you can see the ridge do you want it outside or do you want the smooth side outside so you can decide that so i want the ridge inside so just pin the edge just going to pin the edges together and if you notice i've done We've also done the top of the the band and the band is very large we did uh, we just picked stitches and we just picked stitches and made the uh, 12 rows because we want a very big band so that I can put a very big belt over it and uh, look cheap so here we have it this time we need our pins to pin it So we we'll pin one side from i'll just pin both sides out because uh, when i'm on the sewing machine i just want to do both of them so we we'll pin one side from top to down make sure the edges so some people may prefer to do tips uh to use the test screen needle and yarn to darn it uh to stitch the sides that's uh, to stitch it to get a nice thing you can use sewing machine you can use that too the reason why some people prefer that because it's a crochet stitch it's and it's a bit lazy i don't want to really go into the knitted uh, yarn instead of the they want to go into the stitch instead of having holes on it or so so it all depends on um the designer 
so i'll just leave that so where i'll just open it a little so that you see that it's going to be pinned so this is our scene you see it's we see us building it here that's one side so for the other side we need a zipper or zip you can use invisible zipper if you want to or zip all you just need to do is place it and let it just cover it a little i don't want this uh if you want the zipper to show it's optional you can make it show if you are the designer but if you don't want the zipper to show just bring the hem of the crochet stitches to have a nice hem or you can just uh, do some fine nice uh edging for it so you just okay so we just uh, put I'll put it a little bit over and then we'll pin. I'll just pin bend the end of the, the zipper, these rough edges. I'll just bend it in. And then we'll pin one to this. And you pin the other so when we get to the end of the zipper I'm going to bring the other side since this other side is just uh, to pin now just to remove this pin first I want on to let me do the zipper ends first I'll bring this other side and you can do same just fold it in just going to open to the other side so that you see properly and i'm just going to pin it i don't want to open the zipper yet or the zip yet that's because um, i want to sit closed before i pin so that if there's any I'll notice okay it's going to seam it properly it's going to join properly I'll make sure the edges of um, the gather skirt matches like where the gather starts from I'll make sure they match perfectly so this is where they match I'll make sure they, that each one so I'm just going to put another pin here And because um, I'm not going to use a zipper foot to sew this because the, you can use a zipper foot if you want to. Yeah, I think I can use a zipper foot. Uh oh, I've pinned it over there. This way. Okay, so I'm just going to do this one quickly so that will finish it off. And this is where the gather starts. Oh, oh the gather starts. So I'm just going to pin that one in and make sure it lines properly with this other side where the gather starts because I don't want uh, uneven um, edges. So this is where the gather starts. So here, this is where the gather starts here. So you can see that I didn't pin it properly, and here we have a little bit of fall. So I'm going to make sure I do that. It should be. They should be equal. So another way of doing that is to make sure I'll just put a pin over to where the gather starts and pin that down. Then we can pin we know the bottom. So I'll just look for the last parts here. And make sure the designs line properly so I now know that the designs line properly here 
So I'll pin this one in. And I'll pin this one in. So. So that place uh, where the garden starts, I'm going to pin that too. I just want to hold this, uh, have a little bit of something to hold here. Okay, so now we have it. Because I've lined it, you can see that uh, it's not uh, buckling up anymore. Lined it. So here we have this one here. I'm going to pin it and I'll open it a bit so that you see. And now we have the other one here and you will notice that okay now they line up properly so I'm going to put out a pin here okay, then I'll put this one here so that this one stops shifting and creating a buckle okay so we've pinned that side and I'm going to pin this other side like how I did the um, double side the sec um, the other seam and so let me just um, before I go to the sewing machine to sew I just want to show you because by the time you see it is a complete skirt so I'm just going to open it up yarn in the okay so when I open it up you see okay so here we have it and when we zip it And that's our skirt so when you see it next it will be completed and you see it on me or a mannequin just going to zoom out so that you see and you can see the lines of um, stitches in case I didn't show it properly before I'm just going to show it again so this is lacy one We've done this on a caftan before, so we decided to use it on a skirt to just show how it is, how interesting it can look to on a skirt. So take it closer. You can see the coils by the can see the coils made by the ruler. So double crochet, ruler lay, ruler lacy design, double crochet, rose and ruler lacy design. So let's go to the sewing machine and complete our skirts. So here we have the skirt. For the hem, I finished on the uh, on the hem side. That is how I finished because this was supposed to be the beginning side. But um, the stitch there was kind of um, tight. If you have done crochet, you will understand, you know that I did my casting off this way because it's kind of loose. And my casting off was on the side. So I flipped the knit, um, the gamut and decided that I needed a nice edge. I don't want the cast on edge to be the hem. I want the cast on edge. I will crochet over the cast on edge so that I can make the band. And so that's what I did here. Okay, what the band, the stitches for the bodies of the skirt is more than, is twice the size of the band. So because of that, because we need the band to fit, we have, to, the band is half the uh, size, the numbers of stitches for the gamut. So we had to make sure we did, um, we, I'm just going to bring it closer. <laughs> I'm trying to place it as well as stock so it's um okay we did the uh, we made one stitch into a double crochet we missed one at the bottom we did the other one here so that's why the up is like the first part for the up is like a mesh stitch it's not a mesh it's just that it's, we just um the uh, knit crocheted one into the previous uh, row missed one double crochet and we did the next stitch into the previous uh, into the next uh, one after missing one double crochet 
so that it gives us that um, effect i'll put a pattern because this video is kind of uh, short so i'll put a pattern a coordinating pattern the pattern will be on the blog and the link to download the pattern i'll do it later on the link to download the pattern is going to be on um in the description area of the video so i've already finished the gathered skirt and here we have it so the numbers of stitches you need will be the numbers of stitches it will be in the pattern um and you can decide the length you want it to be remember this part this um design you can turn it horizontally or vertically if you desire to use it like so it, it all depends if you want the skirt to be uh, the lace to be vertical you can make your lace vertical and it's going to be like so but um you will have to knit it horizontally you knit it horizontally but then you can turn it to um you can now make the band on the side and you have a nice uh, vertical stripe because not everyone loves uh, horizontal stripes uh, especially if the pattern is a plus or it's not it makes them look um too hefty oh i don't know i don't know i don't know the right word what to um, use there but um it's not nice for those people that are weight that have a lot of weight so vertical stripes makes them slim down so if you're going to make it for you use vertical stripe and i have a part i have already demonstrated that and with the swatch i included um, the demonstration on how to crochet the swatch of this design i stated i put um a previous video where i did uh, this the same design but um the sequence was different but you have to you can have but it was on we, we use it for vertical it vertical design it was a kaftan so i'll simply put that link there in case um, so that you don't start searching all over the uh place for it so i'll put the link there i'll state it kaftan uh roller lace or broomstick lace yeah um and thanks to the test that reminded me that they can it's also called broomstick lace So um, for the lace, as I uh, I did, uh, this is a silk tie and dye, and I've put I've uh, I used it for the lining inside. You can see that I've added a uh, got uh, I just made a little gathered skirt uh, just to slip under. So if you're making to sell, you can now make something like this. It's silk um silk so you just um you can put it under so that it has um a lining a nice lining under that someone can you know wear it and you can um have um and you can have nice um knitwear to so so if you're making something lacy for skirt and also consider that not only for skirt even tops you can you consider that can just get a lining small slip pattern so that I can make a slip on it but if you don't want to you can buy slip on their own uh, any um, lingerie to put a long slip gown to wear with it so that's all for now the next time um, you'll be see, I'll be modeling it and you will see it on me one more thing before I go if you want to put if you want to put elastic you can fold the band you can fold it in and insert elastic in it okay you can just fold it and then you can let me go closer okay you can fold it the band and you can stitch it and insert elastic in it so that it fits because uh, if you if if maybe you uh, say it, it you it will lose its uh, shape before time also if you want if you don't want to put elastic you don't want to fold you just want to make it easy then make ties just crochet long ties i did one in um is it a mesh video i think i did that in the mesh video 
-hmm. the double crochet and mesh stitch kaftan i think that was a pink and gray uh, color stripe um, stripe kaftan so what you can do there is instead just insert the tie through it and use it as a drawstring so the person draws it when about and it uh, comes into shape if you don't want to put elastic maybe if you feel go into it you can make that and the tie is just person can just knot it to any side they desire and you have a nice uh, meat wear so thank you for joining me today for this uh, video I've already finished the skirt and you can see the um, zip I've inserted the zip stitched properly and we have our seam so I've stitched the seams in the side seams to join the front and the back together if you don't want to join the front and back together you can knit all together you can just knit one lo large one but that will need you to knit, uh, knit. you can just knit one large one Thank you for joining me today for this video to crochet a ruler lace or broomstick lace gathered skirt. Until next time, happy crocheting and remember you are the designer. So let's go make some crochet knitwear for our crochet inventory. Thank you and bye for now.